Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life, but just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. Hi everybody, welcome back. We're on another adventure today. I am looking for a floor lamp today. So my first stop is going to be our local Habitat for Humanity Restore. They don't usually have a whole lot of great stuff. They have a lot of building stuff. But we're going to go in and check, and then we're going to head down to Salvation Army. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for going out on these adventures with me. Uh, as always, click that subscribe button. We would love to have you know whenever we have some new videos out. So let's go take a look. Here we are. This is kind of the warehouse part, and then you've got the store part. So 65% off all used lamps and furniture. Don't need any furniture. So we'll look and see what they might have. I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Lots of lamps, but I need a floor lamp in particular. This is actually really pretty. I don't need that. It would be like five dollars. That's a good that's a good deal. Again, lots of furniture. They've got bedding. All kinds of stuff. Oh, I see a floor lamp. It's a little modern, but if it's a good deal. Oh, look at that vintage desk. How beautiful is that? Oh, just love it. Okay. Oh, but see what it says. This is a new light item, so it's not included in the sale. Of course, the one lamp that would actually work. So, full price. Let's see the price is at the very bottom of the base. Let's see. Yeah, $55. No, 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 no. We will not do that. So... Okay, well, let's go over here and look at the holiday stuff. Again, random stuff that they get in. Normally nothing really vintage every once in a while. Christmas around the world, I guess that would be considered vintage now. Almost 1999, right? Over 20 years old. Let's see. What are these things? Oh, that's a fan, ceiling fan. I don't see don't see a whole lot. Oh, the old, this is a chalkware Sylvester and Tweety that somebody painted. It's cute, but it needs a lot of touch-up. Um, so we will not do that, but it's cute. Okay, we've got some bins with just lights, it looks like. Don't need any lights. Some wreaths, let's see down here. Halloween section, nothing, nothing vintage gift bags. All right, and then like you see, all this is just kind of building supplies, but we're going to head towards the back, go check out outside and see if they have anything out there. It's 100 plus degrees today, so I will not spend very much time out here. Outdoor sink? Let's see. Oh, I don't see much of anything, but if you've been to the Habitat Restores, you know. Don't need any outdoor furniture. These are really nice, though, for some of but there's only one of them. <laughs> Okay, don't see anything here. And then that looks like just tile. I did get myself a outdoor vintage patio set here one time. I have one of these at my house right now. This is in a little better shape, but I like mine. Mine's a little bigger. Oh, nothing really there. Okay, let's go inside. This is a really pretty modern bathroom. You'd have to replace the sink because it's broke, but uh, it's pretty, but it's still. I don't know, guys. They're asking $525 when you'd have to replace the sink. To me, that seems a little greedy. I don't know. Lots of office furniture, stuff like that. Again, I'm not in the the market for any furniture right now. Gun gun case. Again, all, you know, old doors, all kinds of stuff if you wanted to get crafty and make some stuff. So I only have a couple more aisles on the inside of the building. Again, we're kind of in the outside area with no air conditioning. It's inside, but it's outside. I'm not making any sense. Walkers, though, if you needed, needed that, needed crutches, this would be the place to go. All kinds of stuff. Oh, I see some more lamps, but these look like all new, all new hanging lamps. So that's not what I want either. 
Ooh, really groovy though. Look at that. That's a really fun lamp. Super fun. Let me back us out a little close. It's all wood. Very cute. Don't need it. That's really awesome. And then they have little chandeliers and stuff like that, but not what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm inside and they actually have a section now that says vintage decor. Everybody's, everybody's getting in on it. This is absolutely gorgeous, but they aren't $25. I mean, that is really pretty. It has a couple chips. Another old baby. See, they know $8. It's not fun. $20. When even Habitat for Humanity is charging a lot. $15. Ikea bird decorations, 25 cents. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Let's keep looking. Everybody knows what the vintage is worth now. Got another room in there, but that's just building stuff mainly. Let's see what we've got here. Lots of old pictures, mainly just frames. No, that's just like a, it's like a drawing or something. I don't even know. They've got a few of them. It's like a set, of, a set of kitties, but. I don't think anybody would want those. Very ornate frame down there. Is that another kitty? We have another kitty. Whole little set of kitties. Okay, nothing here. Those are cute. The sticks. These, but fifteen dollars. Yeah, even these prices have gone up. I, again, I don't go here too often because, like I said, it's just not a whole lot of stuff I need. Just kind of a random mishmash. Can build many building supplies is what they're known for at least at our particular one but maybe most of them around the country you let me know your your local habitat what is it mainly known for let's see that's plastic lots of coffee cups but nothing again just lots of random stuff all over the place but it sounds like they've got somebody now that kind of knows what the vintage stuff is and is pulling it out. I don't know that these are that old. Okay, so yeah, only a couple of, only a couple of rows here. Now this is definitely more vintage. It is glass. Four dollars though. Again, because shipping would be so much, trying to sell this for a lot of money, it would just be really, really hard to do. Let's see what the brand is. What I can't even read it. Oh, it just says no hot liquids USA. But again, I don't think 50 cents. That's really pretty, but there's just one of them. Let's see. Mm, we're still looking. Look around. You never know what's buried underneath something else. Don't see anything there. Okay. What's the... This is interesting. It's a candle that's a dog candle. I'm not buying it, but Sand and Paws, inspired at Dog Beach on the California coast. All right, I gotta smell it. Oh, it does. <laughs> it just smells like very strong soap. Is what it smells like. Again, we've got. We know what these are, right? Vintage souvenir plates. 50th anniversary glass serving tray. Get nothing, nothing real vintage there. This is pretty, but again, nobody really wants the clear glass too much anymore. Got a, a jug. And a Mountain Dew aged in the woods, but some of the paint's off, and somebody glued on little like diamonds or something. Five dollars, no thank you. This has kind of a vintage vibe to it. Three dollars again, though. Because it's clear glass, it's not going to catch a whole lot of attention from people. Sorry, I'm right above the speaker right now. So, <laughs> right below the speaker. I wouldn't be above it. That would be bad. This is really pretty, but again, it's not vintage, but it's almost like a cracked egg, right? For Easter time, that would be really cute. Surprisingly, it's only $2, but don't need it. That's a big thing to have to store someplace in my garage. Let's see. Milk glass candy dishes, but I don't think that this is old milk glass. That is, that is the re repo of it. Hmm. Okay. Nothing there. A sifter, but it's not a really old one. Oh, this, this looks like it has some age to it. It's only a dollar. 
it's made in India. Well, we might take a shot at that. It's only a dollar. It does have some color to it. I don't know if it's going to come in. You could see some red and some black. We'll take that. Now, why this isn't in the vintage section, I'm not quite sure. Maybe they just didn't like it. This is cute, but it has hard, hardly any of the paint left. Wow, now that is a cookie jar. <laughs> that is some cookie jar. This feels silly to go up with just a dollar purchase, but that looks like that might be what it is for today. We've got some... Oh, a little sleeping kitty. I wonder if this is Avon. No, newer than that. Cute little plates. Love is a song from Mother Mother's Day, 1983 and 84. Five dollars a piece. No, no, no. They really should be like a dollar. Let's see. Now these look... These are definitely vintage. So again, why they're not in the vintage section. Again, they're clear glass. But these are pretty cool, right? Like... Hmm. Like banana split holders, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That might be, I don't know, would this be something you guys would get? Though? What do you think? It's not a bad deal. They're really cute. Okay, I'll have to think about that. Definitely grabbing the vase. All right, we're going to spin ourselves around. Sorry, sorry, I'm making everybody nauseous. This is, this is, I think, older, but it's not the best paint job. It's just not very cute, you know. If it had been a glazed and a different color, the kitty. Okay, again. All right, it's five dollars. They know they have something made in Japan. It's got, let's see, the teeniest chip on the ear. But these cats are really, really popular. So we're gonna get that, and I'm hoping I can maybe get fifteen for it. We'll see. So again, why that's not in the vintage section, I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's cute. Oops, sorry, my hand is in the picture. Always when I'm editing these videos, I'm always annoyed with myself that I <laughs> I got laxed and did that. Okay, so this is all newer kind of holiday stuff. Okay, so like I said, sometimes there's little little gems to be had. So we're gonna grab our two things, and I have a feeling. Ugh, I think I'm going to grab those banana split things as well. I just don't have hands for it right now, so I'll have to come back for it. Got some metal stuff. Hmm. Let's see, that's really groovy. Oh my gosh, it's super heavy. $10, though. Look at that. I don't know how old these are. How old are these blue jars? If you really like blue... Okay, what's this? This is an old... Okay. An old Everwear Executar, the original travel bar, contains all accessories, no key. The original travel bar? What does that mean? Well, it does... Okay. This is very interesting, but they want $10 for it. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. All right, I'm going to have to Google goggles this and see. This might be even $10. It might be a good investment, so I'll be back. Hey, here we are. Green tags are 50% off today. This looks really cute. It looks vintage, doesn't it look vintage? That might be worth it. It's not 50% off. It's $2, but that's not too bad. I think I'll grab that. Got milk glass, $6. No. Outdoor candles, citronella candles. Let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Huh. I was just wondering what the barcode is underneath that. Is that another thrift store? I'm Goodwill? I don't know. It looks familiar to me. This is cute. It's like a glass of milk, but it's a candle. Do not need it, but it's cute. This bear doesn't look handmade or hand-painted, I should say. Oh my, these are iridescent, if you can't tell. <laughs> wow, this is something else. Made in Taiwan. I mean, they've got some age to them, but they're really not very attractive. Um, she's rather pretty, very fancy. Do you guys like this type of stuff? I'm not really into it, but I know that they're collectible. And this is actually a big one, but okay, let's guess the price. I'm going to say $5.99. $7.99. Nope. Again, she's old. Lefton. It's a Lefton one. So I might Google goggles it. I'll put it in my cart and we'll just see. I don't know that I would make a huge amount, but I don't see any chips on her. She's in re... Oh, no. Look, at she's missing... Can you guys tell she's missing a finger? Okay. Nope, not going to do that. Missing a finger. Oh, okay, let's see. Owl. He's missing something there. I don't know what that would be. An octopus. You know that's not old. Super cute, though. Let's see what else we've got. Mm, bunny. It might be like from the 80s or 90s. Oh, 
no no marks okay we'll skip that next section okay we've got lots of bunnies going on today super cute but let's see lots of a bourbon that might i've been doing lots of manly stuff today so a bourbon jar might go right with it but i will skip that okay let's see this is cool because it's a round dish that then opens up and it's so it's not just a plain piece of glass but you know that's going to be expensive yep eight dollars well, there's another, I guess these went together. Well, no, maybe not, but somebody had their, their whole set. Nothing else vintage there. This is cool. Like a, oh, somebody put it together. They just glued. Oh my, I was going to say it's cool the fact that it's at an angle, right? That's cool. Somebody was creative. Old corn on the cob, probably, but there's just one of them. Okay, let's go to the next section and see what we can find. Oh, I already see the back of something in the next row. Let's see, is this an angel? Oh, now she's pretty. She's, wow, well, $6 though. Not, don't think I'd make a whole lot on that. Let's see what else we've got here. Cute, but marble champion. Oh, marbles champion. Oh my goodness, I can't read, guys. Pretty stuff, but nothing that's really good. Really... Dad, counselor, teacher, friend. Mm, barcode on it. Oh, I got a little turkey, part of a salt and pepper shaker, but again, not old. Let's see. He's not old. Made in China. Let's see. We got the turkey. That's made in China. <laughs> okay, cute, but not super old. Okay, nothing there. Let's see. Somebody distress them. Oh no, these are like you know, they're pretty, but not old. Let's see the owl. This is an old. It's very pretty though. The owl's not old. Ooh. No, no, no. He's really cute. Again, all these salt and pepper shakers that are missing the other half. Ugh. Okay. I might get him because he's half price, so he is a dollar. Maybe somebody has the girl and needs the boy. So, and you could, it's just cute, just as a little figurine on a shelf. So I might get that for a dollar. So, let's see what else we have. Oh, oh, this is cute. I feel like it had a top to it. Okay, nothing there. I think this was here last time. It's groovy, but it's got grapes. And the grapes really aren't the most popular design. Let's see, I'm getting all this stuff's new. Pretty. I'm almost positive this is new. Yeah. Well, that's new. Get another chalkware piece. So it's a music box. Let's see. Nothing there. That's cute, like cabbage or something. That's not old. All right. Somebody left their trash. <laughs> okay. Nothing else here. Let's go down the next aisle. Okay. Purple section. I mean, very pretty. This is just a tin. So, oh no, it's glass. It's very pretty, but not, not old by any means, but very pretty if you like kitties. Set of kitties. Nothing vintage here. Black section. Mm, nope. Gray and silver section. Mm. This is probably from the 80s, but just a plastic mirror. This, super heavy. What's it marked? I don't know what that mark is. It's six dollars though. Oh lord. I need like bifocals made in India. I will pass on that. Okay, is this old? F to FT, old FTD holder. So this is pretty. But I don't know how many people actually use silver like that anymore. Okay, I'm going to spin us for a second. Let's see, we've got the glass section. What we might have? This is just a cool jar. 100% recycled glass. Just a big, huge jar. I wouldn't, for a garden or something, that would be cool. I don't need it for $8, but it's cool. Did you see that? I want to make sure you saw it. It has like a green color to it. Lots of mason jars. This is Good Seasons Old Jar. 
pretty, not vintage, but pretty. Another, well, this isn't, would this be salt and pepper? This is very big for a salt and pepper. Oh, no, it is. Oh, it has an S on it, Katie. <laughs> Let's see. Lots of little cute things. Let's see, anything hidden down in there? Nothing that's like super catches my eye. The clear glass, the issue is it all starts to blend together, right? And then you miss something that you don't want to. These are definitely vintage glasses, a set of two, but they're not on sale, $2 a piece. Again, don't think they'd be that highly sought after. These are not old and you can tell really mainly by the feel, the, how heavy it is. And then let's look, let's compare. So you see the difference right off the bat? I don't know if it shows as much. This is more yellowed, which definitely tells you it's older, and it is substantially heavier. Unfortunately, it has a chip, so I won't be getting it, but if you're wondering, I mean, I just happen to have an old and a new to be able to show you the difference here. Let's see, these, again, more yellow, right, compared to the newer glass, but again, two bucks a piece? No, no, no. Okay, nothing else down there. We're gonna spin you guys again. Okay, so this is an iridescent jar that has Martin Luther King on it. Let's see, underneath the, underneath that one, it says something. I need like an assistant to read it for me. Okay, I gotta put this down for a second. I couldn't read what said on the bottom, so I had to Google Goggles it. If you do not have the Google Goggles app, you need it. It's amazing. Um, so this is a vintage Wheaton bottle that was one on sale for like 18 something dollars. This is for, I think I'll give it a shot and we'll see. Maybe I, something tells me I might be sitting on that for a while, but maybe around his birthday that will become popular. This is super cute. It definitely looks like it has some age, but then look at it. It's from Rite Aid. I'm telling you. I get fooled very easily. Now let's see. Oh, that has a big chip on the inside of it, unfortunately. Ooh, can't tell if it's old or not, but again, I don't know that people would want it with the big chip. Somebody made this rabbit in 1993. <laughs> um, those are newer versions of these owls. Cute, but newer. Let's, let's see, she's, she's just made out of like a resin. Definitely, again, right? You look at it and go, well, that has some age to it, but no, I mean, it's only a dollar because it's 50% off, but I don't know that I would buy it, so we're gonna skip. Here, we've got this. You, again, don't know how much age it has to it. I'm gonna skip on that. Okay, let's go to the next section and we'll check on more on this side. I'm assuming these are like vintage shot glasses, but again, they're two bucks a piece. I'm gonna pass on those. Let's see, some more glasses, probably from the 80s or 90s. This one, probably a 90, maybe earlier. This is a pretty cool one, pretty heavy one. But again, just one of them, I'll pass. I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff, guys. I am still waiting for Facebook to fix my issue with my shop. It's been like two months. They cannot seem to fix it. So again, you can um, message me if you're interested in anything. I just had somebody message me the other day and we may, were able to make, you know, make a, a sale that way. So you can just um, comment on any of the videos or you can um, email me at reawakenvintage at gmail.com and I will get back to you and we can make a sale that way. All right, so these are cool. Oh gosh. So this pattern matches this pattern you see it guys so these are definitely older but it ah, they're green so they're 50 percent off oh if they were blue or some color it, they would be absolutely amazing but they're just clear i don't know okay i'm gonna google goggles it somebody on etsy has a set of four up for sale for 22 dollars. they say they're indiana glass crystal ice um, so you can imagine, this would be groovy, right? To serve ice cream in or something. And they're a dollar a piece because they're 50% off. And there are six of them. So I think I'm gonna get them. Yeah, I put them in the cart. I know I'm the one that's always known for not liking clear glass, but those are really cool. This is 1986. We'll pass on that. Let's see, oh, let's see how old this one. Oh, it's got lots of chips. It's really pretty. No, okay, you know me and candles. <laughs> we did the video. If you haven't seen, I, I um, outed myself with how many candles I have. 
peace on earth, goodwill to all. Sonoma, four dollars. Okay. I mean, that's not going to smell as good as a Bath and Body Works. Oh, but it smells good. All right, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I have a sickness. Okay, now this has definitely got some age to it, but is it very attractive? That's the problem, right? Like, yeah, it's old, but it's heavy, it's big. Wildwood Ceramics, Pasadena, California, and they want $10. We're going to pass on that one. Let's see. That one's got a crack. Right, let's go to the red section. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Okay. I think most of this stuff is new. Okay, let's go around the corner. Wow, I've only made it down two aisles. It's taken me like 20 minutes. Maybe this is a good day. Maybe there'll be Pyrex in the future. <laughs> All right, this is dishes and mugs. Oh, some Holly Hobby mugs. Those are cute, but $4 a mug. Uh -uh. Let's see, I'm going to spin you back and forth, so I'm going to try to do it slowly, just so you can see what I'm seeing as I'm looking around. Very, very rarely buy any mugs because they're very rarely ever vintage ones. That's very interesting. Made in China. Let's see. Don't off. Ooh, that's pretty. That's not remake. That's not really vintage, but it catches your eye. Let's see. Lots of mugs, but again, hot stuff. <laughs> okay. Let me spin you again. Let's see, that's not old. Huh, it's melamine. It's not ceramic. Let's see if there's any mark on the back. There's, oh, there is. Let's see what it is. You know me without my glasses. What is the mark? I'm trying to figure out if it's very old. Nope, I think it's Target Home. <laughs> that is not old at all. It's pretty, but... Okay, let's see. Pretty stuff, but nothing that's very vintage. Back over to this side, bottom shelf. Nothing really. This has got to be an old Bell Phone Company mug, right? So, oh, but it's got, if you're Eric, I guess even if you're not Eric, right, you could display it. Somebody that worked for the phone company, $2. Ugh, again, guys, would this be something you would buy? It's very specific, but I think I might give it a try. It might be. <laughs> that might be one of those. Uh, I'll have to have a video sometime where I just tell you all the things that I bought that I have not been able to sell, that I was sure would sell, and then they didn't. Probably more than you would expect. I have yet to sell. If you remember here a while back, I got um, a daisy casserole dish. And then when I got home, it's Pyrex, sorry. That's the most important part. I got home and I realized that somebody had carved their last name into it. It's almost impossible to see unless you're really looking for it. But because of that, obviously I have to be transparent when I'm um, you know, putting things up for sale. It has not sold. I am just sitting on that. Hello. Can we get by? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, now this is... Oh. That's got some age, but again, who is going to want to pay for shipping for that? Again, it's clear glass. I am on a clear glass kick today. All right, let's go back to Google Goggles. Okay, it's an Anchor Hawking Vintage picture. Um, somebody is trying to sell it for $22. It would cost me six. It's probably going to cost $22 in shipping. So as amazing as that is, I am going to pass on that. Yeah. If I had a larger, maybe, you know, people locally that would like that kind of stuff that, would, you know, then you're not paying for shipping. Um, let's see some old vintage ashtrays. But again, people usually like the really groovy ones, you know. Okay, let's see when we've got the old sets here, right? They just don't sell very good. Four dollars a piece. Little tray, little serving tray. Yes, I'm looking. If you're just tuning in, no, I have not lost my mind. Yes, I am looking at clear glass. Okay, we're done with that aisle. Oh, sorry. Poor guy's trying to put stuff out and I keep getting in his way.
Okay, let's see. I think it's vintage, but... Oh, sorry guys, I'm not even... I think it's vintage, but no. Now this one has a stamp on it. $6, though. Again, these they sell six dollars that seems like a lot for it oh, let's see oh here's a old swirl vase right it's got a kind of peach color to it okay I'll be back in a minute and tell you what I found on these things I couldn't find the exact replica there's tons of these and they are pretty good money so we'll take that this all I saw that looked anything close to it was actual like marble so and that's not what that is that's just made of ceramic so We'll skip that. Let's see. It's a very pretty little tea. Oh, that's a, what is that? Like a bathroom cup? Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, it doesn't have a handle. Huh. I'm assuming these go together, but maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Let's see what else we have. That is not all the plates. Let's see. I think I was here last time and I saw these and they were super cute, but they were super expensive. They're not old, but they're just the cutest little... Oh, they're still $7.99. Not half price yet. Okay. Let's see. Let's go down this aisle next. Plastic aisle. Again, the only thing I ever really look for here is vintage Tupperware. Okay, we do not see any vintage Tupperware, really. At least nothing that would be highly sought after. This is cute. That's not old, though, but that's super cute. Oh, it's the Pioneer Woman. That's why it's cute, right? She's all about taking the vintage stuff and, you know, making it new. So, okay, I have to tell you, I just think we just donated these in there <laughs> from the estate sale. If you haven't watched my last video, um, I got... Uh, bunch of stuff from an estate sale auction. You definitely have to watch that. And those were, I think, in there. And my husband was nice enough to drop it all off today. So I'm, I could be wrong. Those are pretty common. Okay, let's see. We are to baking aisle. Got, oh, $10 now. Let's see if anything catches my eye. Mm, catches my, oops, sorry catches my eye but it's not old cool okay so this is pyrex aisle if there's gonna be any pyrex this is where it's gonna be and oh this is very pretty oh six dollars no 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 okay i do not see anything i can't live without corning corningware pretty but ten dollars yeah no no Pyrex today. Well, that's okay. We can't always be super lucky. Let me go. Let's see. Is this milk glass? No, these are, again, these are good to use. Like this is glass bake, but I've told you before, there's all kinds of really creative ladies out there now that make decals um, on Etsy, um, I think even on Facebook. So you could decorate an old plain white dish and I've got one that has Easter bunnies on it I have one for Halloween so don't always pass these up sometimes they're really cute a little white one this is an old from my old mixing bowl again somebody tried to sell it at a really old thrift store for $1.89 and now they want six dollars for it <laughs> let's check this end cap real quick oh again is that old nope that's not old that's got an old store receipt or not an old but oh this is pretty this definitely has a mid-century feel to it four dollars half off hmm okay google goggles i'll be back again google goggles didn't have anything but i have a hunch on that one so we're gonna try it it's a little bit more than i'd want to spend at four dollars but we'll hope we can make some money out of it wooden dishes i don't think those are very old nothing on this end cap that catches my eye how about you guys uh, i don't see anything okay we've got the that aisle next, but let's do another end cap. Let's see. Mm, these are randomly all over the store. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. We've got one of these. I don't think this one's old. Four dollars. I actually have one that I got from the estate sale auction that I have to put up for sale. We've got an old cup holder. It's eight dollars. Now look at that. <laughs> 
it wiggles and everything. I, people are just not paying attention when they're pricing the stuff here. Let's see, again, just boxes, plain boxes. Let's see, this is a souvenir. If it did, wasn't from Portugal, it probably would be worth more. Uh, let's see, lots of signs in there. Let's see, that's, huh. I feel like it would have a lid. I feel like it's old, but yeah, we'll pass on that. Ikea bowls. Let's see. Mm, there's an old magazine rack. At least it looks old. I'll be right back. It was not an old magazine rack, just made to look old. So much stuff in here, it's easy to miss something. Oh, let your heart be your compass. That's really creative and cute, right? That, oh, four dollars. If it was like a dollar, I would buy it as like a Valentine's Day. Okay, what is this? Okay, guys, this is old. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Okay, so it's like a file box, right? You would slide it up. And then it's got grooves in it. I'm not going to buy it, but tell me what it was, guys. What was this? Was this for an office? Was this for a kitchen? I want to know. If you know, let me know. I appreciate it. You guys help me out a lot when some of these things... And again, I have Google Goggles now, but I only want to really do Google Goggles if it's something I think I might buy. Otherwise, I'm just going to ask you guys. Yes, that's the lazy way, I know. Lots and lots of picture frames. I'm really just looking for, you know, some needlepoint or some cruel mixed in here, and that very rarely happens. Lots and lots of picture frames, which I'm not in the need of right now. Let's see, some Asian artwork. Okay, let's turn back over here. Don't need a hook. Cute, don't need it though. Let's see, oh, well, this is... Oh, obviously it's not really, really old, but it's still, I think it has some age to it. How tricycles and motorcycles. Four dollars. Made in, I think it's made, sorry. Made in Hong Kong, so that has some age to it. I think I'm going to get that. Again, lots of manly stuff. So here's my cart so far. Doing better than I thought. But again, not a lot of the stuff is half price, but green stickers are. Was that a green sticker? No, that was not a green sticker, but that's okay. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go over here real quick. This is still here. Nobody ever answered up on my last video. What is that? It's probably here because nobody knows what it is. Let's see, lots of metal stuff. Oh, that's a really cool reindeer. Wow, that's really cool. It's not vintage, I don't think, but it's cool. Four dollars, because it's half price. But again, do I really need it? Do I need it? It's a big thing to store all year long, so I'm probably gonna pass, but it's cool. Okay, let's see. We're at the fake flower section here. It's really quiet in here today, not a lot of people. I think it's because it's like 100 degrees and I'm not being sarcastic, it's 100 degrees. Little Churum's heirloom doll. Oh, they went $8 for it, it's half off, but even then, what in the world is this doll that it's, hmm. No, nope, 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 we're gonna pass on that, okay. Next aisle, I never really, although this is where I accidentally found some pyrus because somebody had set it down. So I'm always going to go down the aisle, but this is just, you know, household electronic stuff, crock pots. I think this lamp was here last time. So again, this is a $5 desk lamp, right? It's just all plastic. It even has a free sticker. And they're asking $5.99 for it. They're asking more than what it was originally at the store. <laughs> okay. I don't know why some of this stuff is here. Okay, nothing there. Let's do some more end caps and then we will be done. We already did that end cap. Christmas end cap sometimes has something good. That was here last time I was here. I do not see anything. Anything on the, I mean, just some cute stuff. Though. These are like just, Super cute little Christmas plates, but not vintage. Okay. Oh, this aisle is actually pretty sparse. 
usually this is just packed and usually the Christmas thing I have a feeling maybe they just took a bunch of the stuff and just got rid of it right like it was just been here forever and nobody had bought it so they definitely cleared house so to speak here so this is not going to take long at all to go through nothing stands out as being old okay wow yeah they definitely just probably just started all over from scratch and just threw everything away contact paper some old wood contact paper okay well i think we are done here for now i'll do a check-in time in just a few minutes well for you it'll be right away <laughs> okay folks it's roundup video time I have way too much stuff, guys. I really need to now be focusing on selling, but it's so darn fun to go shopping and to have you guys come along. Anyway, that's a dish. that's something for me to deal with. Okay, so just a reminder, we did buy the bar set. Super cool. I bought the lamb vintage planter, the little boy salt pepper. Yeah, poor thing. We bought the banana banana split dishes. I don't know if that's really what they're called. The Ma Bell mug. I bought, I know there's a name for this. Tell me what it is. I bought that little pitcher. We've got the wooden little box, kind of Asian influence box. We've got the bicycle tin. We've got the mid-century modern ashtray so see we got a set going here right yeah the bar the ashtray we've got the made in india little brass or metal little vase i have to look up more of that i got my made in japan kitty cat the martin luther king bottle and then these amazing mid-century modern dessert cups or fruit cups so thank you guys for joining me today as i went on another adventure as always I am looking to sell, so <laughs> comment below if you're interested in the price of something or email me at reawakenedvintage at gmail.com. As always, thanks so much. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.